So now it's time to research the topic a little bit more so we have enough information to write our article. And to research, in the old days you went to the library, modern day you go to Google, you do a search, you find some web pages. So I found some web pages, but first I want to activate a feature inside Web Content Studio called the Grabber. I'm on the Researcher tab and I'm going to click Start Grabbing. And you can see there that Prescriptasis Broad Spectrum Probiotic with Prebiotic was in my clipboard. So it's been pasted in there. And the nice thing about this grabber, let me just reduce the size of this, is that I can go off to any website I like and do some research. And whatever it is that I copy from those websites, it will paste into my grabber. So for example, we've got ingredients here. Let's just scroll down and we'll highlight all of those ingredients. Click on copy and you'll see they've just immediately been added to my grabber. So I can go away, I can find interesting bits of information. So a prescript assist is next generation combination of 25 SBOs. So click on that, copy. You see that's been pasted in as well. And some information here about health benefits. So let's copy those. You see they've been pasted. Let's go to a different website and you can see that we can just keep copying information and it's pasted into our grabber. When you finish doing your research, click on stop and you've then got the information ready for working on. Now I should note here that it's not just web pages that you can grab from. Anything that you can copy to your clipboard in Windows will be pasted into the researcher screen if you've got the grabber working. So if you have a PDF document or any other documents that you want to copy information from to use as research, then you can do that. Now, you've got into your article research section. What do we do next? Well, it's time to write the article. We've got our notes, we've got our skeleton, we've got our theme words and keywords. It's now time to actually write the article. So back on the editor screen, we're going to open up those notes. And in Web Content Studio, those notes are stored in an area called the scratch pad, which you can access by this little star here. And what you can see there is that the notes now open up and you can have them open on your screen while you work away on your article. This is always on top. So I can copy things from here. Just to give you an example, I'm not going to go through the entire process. Here we go. Bacteria in Prescript Assist. I can then just delete this and let's paste in. There we go. I've just pasted in the list from my notes. Now I might want to put them in a different way. I might want to have them in a bullet list or something, but there we go. I've just pasted that directly in from my notes. Now, I don't recommend you just copy things and paste them directly from your notes into your article. You need to rewrite things into your own words, but by using the notes that you've got that you collected from around the web when you're doing a little bit of research, you can now go in and you can write your article. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and write my article and then we'll be back once I've finished the article. And I finished writing the article. You can see that my scratch pad is almost empty now because as I've been writing it, I've been deleting items from the scratch pad so that I know that I've already covered those items and I don't need to cover them again. Let's just close that. And you can see now I've got my final article. I've even got at the bottom some references and published research where I've got some references here to research articles and other websites that back up the information in my particular article. I can see down here that I'm 795 words and the next step is really just to check it and see how well themed it is against my theme words. And that's the final step in creating web content and we're going to do that now.